Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading September 9th to September 15th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Pisces, is going to be the Two of Wands, the very theme of it. Uh, then the next one is going to be the challenges that you need to overcome here. That will be the King of Wands. Followed by the next one, uh, which is the guide, the uh, positive aspect that Saru is offering to you. That will be the, the uh, Hierophant card. And then the last one is going to be the Guidance here, which is the Seven of Pentacles. Huh. Uh, it's um, but I need a bit of a uh, a couple of seconds here, guys, with uh, with these four cards. So on a first glance, it does look like that you're gonna have a, a, a severe difference in between what you want and what someone wants. Someone that you are very closely tied with. It could be your boss, you know. It could be your partner into a relationship. It doesn't matter. But the thing is that you're gonna see the future in uh, how you sit in the future in a very different way of how that person sees you in their endeavor standing into the future and that will provoke itself a, a bit of um, it's not going to be even clashes all right it's going to be more like a um, parting ways really or, or you not participating any longer into their endeavors but um, <clears throat> let's uh, run the cards one more more time before we see how these things plays out. So two of wands, it is the uh, general topic, the very theme of your week, followed by the king of wands, which stands for the uh, guy, for the challenges here. Afterwards is going, is going to be the positive aspect of the Hierophant card. And then the last one, that will be the uh, Seven of Pentacles, which stands for the Guidance. So Two of Wands, well, Two of Wands here points that even though you may find yourself in a good, uh, sitting upon a, a good achievement throughout the week, that is not enough, meaning that you need to find a way how to become simply better, how to climb in the higher of the hierarchy, you know, into your career or how to reach even greater heights in regards to your relationship and etc, etc. The Two of Wands speaks about researching new ways of growth. The Two of Wands is about exploring, you know, new fields for you to grow, like additional job, you know, or additional um, social circles for you to date with and these kind of stuff. It is simply a personal under understanding here that although you may be quite successful right now in what you are doing you can be much more successful should you start exploring 
like I said, a new field of conquest. The accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of Pentacles, the formation, it is a active uh, neutrals, and basically what this uh, combo is saying, it is that there is nothing anymore for you here, right? Either into this relationship, or in this standpoint, or in this social circle, or into this career, it's time for you to go for more. It's time for you to ask for this promotion, if it is not given to you, then go and find another job, it is time for you to ask your partner, are you going to marry? Or, and if uh, he or she does says no, then it's time for you to start searching for another partner. You know, the thing here with uh, this week for you, Pisces, is about um, having that assurance, all right, that things are going to end up the way you want them to end up, because only presumptions of that are not enough any longer. OK, and uh, the, the, the current position you're finding yourself at, although, although secure, it is simply not enough. It is not enough just only to date right now. And it's time to decide, are you going to keep on moving together and going to go on the next stage of your relationship, like living together or engage? You know, it's not enough to to work in the same place for the last 13 years. You want to know, is there going to be any advance in that direction? If it's not, then it's time for you to start looking around for another job. I'm not saying that you have to leave your job right now, but start looking around for different options available. So the challenges is this person here that will be the one who you, whom you are tightly connected with, the one that you depend on, king of wands. Well, that one has its own goal. They, they have their own agenda. And unfortunately, as a, a challenging card, it doesn't look like that they... Uh, <clears throat> Just one second, guys. It doesn't look like that they uh, give you the right place into their agenda that you are deserving. So they do have that agenda. They are ready to do their these actions to, ma to manifest their agenda. And those actions are not going to be the actions you are expecting that person to do. So the uh, accompanied card here is going to be the... Uh, Knights of Pentacles, the formation. It is a uh, active... Uh, neutrals that we do have <clears throat> so this card here points that they can fit you in all right they can do it your way or the way you are um, anticipating that they can do it it is just is going to be a little bit harder all right and the the most is that not the most but the most important thing for them is it's going to slow down the process so they don't want to sacrifice time so you can be on a, a better position at the end of the day for example they don't want to give you that promotion <clears throat> because this is going to slow the process of winning this client or they don't want to raise you because this is going to slow the process of them investing into something different, all right? Because they, they need those money or they have already anticipated those money for something else. So it's all about, you know, having uh, once again these assurances that you can, uh, at the end of the day, get what you are after, you know, better position of career or better position in regards to your relationship. The next one, it is about the uh, positive aspect of the week, and that is going to be the Hierophant card. I need one more, and that will be the Six of Pentacles, and it is about the, um, the belief that eventually the current is going to lead you exactly where you are uh, supposed to be. And additionally to that, it is about the personal awareness that if you don't um, ask for something, the answer is always going to be no. Or if you don't do something about it, the situation is going to never change. So for that reason, you're going to stop making your excuses for yourself or you're going to stop asking for help because the help is not something necessary right now. Or you may have the whole help on the world, but if you don't do what is what it takes, you know, to provoke this uh, search for expand, this search for growth, no one can do it for you. So these two cards points to self-confidence, self-belief as well, and unyielding standpoint, standpoints in regards to your demands and in regards to your personal um, expectations, if I may say it that way. And some people may say that you are, um, how do you say it, um, not jealous, but... Um, Oh my God, it just jumped out of my mind, the word. Selfish, okay? Some people may say that you are selfish with this, but that's not the truth. It is just, this is the natural, uh, the natural uh, 
unfoldment that you are expecting to happen, you know, the current that you want to end up at the end of it. And if the, um, <clears throat> if the beliefs, or rather like the ways of how the current job that you are in or the current relationship is uh, manifesting does not, uh, they do not, how can I place it, they do not correspond with your beliefs and you don't have anything to do in there to just find something that corresponds with your beliefs and you can definitely find something like that. You are in this stage where you get to decide, you know, what place you are to take career-wise or relationship-wise. And the last one, it is about the guidance here. That will be the Seven of Pentacles. Also, you know, right now you have to think of how you are going to start growing, you know, and make those... Um, conclusions uh, is uh, this current job or career uh, or relationship you know is going to present you with those things this card urges you not to rush it through all right although you may realize that you need another job that doesn't mean that you have to throw your resignation tomorrow the smartest way is to seek for another job while you're working your current job so that card here urges you to to maintain silence, keep it quiet, okay, if you have been denied, that is, and wait for the right moment. Because the Seven of Pentacles says that this event you are waiting for that will allow you to start growing either career or relationship-wise is going to come around. It is just around the corner and it just requires a little bit of a patience. Um, <clears throat> from your behalf, you know, that new suitor that is going to fit with your understandings, with your, um, with your beliefs, you know, that job which is going to offer you a, a natural moment of growth and etc, etc. The accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Swords, the formation, it is a, a passive enemies, um, <clears throat> enemies, excuse me, that we do have. So, with these two cards, it does look like that you are going to very carefully, you know, uh, analyze the situation. You are going to uh, very uh, calculatively, you know, um, how can I place it, make your plans in a such a way that at the end of the day, there won't be anything, any negative consequences over you. Or that is the guidance, you know, you should approach the situation that way. Because being impulsive, throwing your resignation, there will be a severe negative consequences, jobless, you know. So you got to do it in a such a way that there won't be any, any negative consequences for you. And you can definitely do it that way. Only if you take your moment, you know, take, take a bit of time, think about it and be calculative about this situation. So that being said, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys. Pisces for a September 9th to September 15th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.